feel it? Feel what exactly? That weird something. I don't know. It's like a tingle in my spine I can't shake. Are you sure it's not a trapped nerve? from Waterdeep. Should drop the gazette a few platforms. Wouldn't mind a nice ride up. Probably just a dead cat. As I know you can. Maybe a few dead cats. <laughs> Cultists took control of my fiance. An intruder. These people are under my protection. I'll not let you harm them. Hearken to my words, wicked creature. Return to the pit of evil from whence you came. Don't listen. Who knows what spells it weaves around us? Quickly, cleric. Helm, protector of all, grant me the power to ignite this creature's flesh and burn its bones to ash. Be gone, monster. Your hag mother holds no power here. Wait. Clyde smells no lie. Then you speak truth. You fought a hag before. At ease, everyone. We may have found ourselves an ally. Forgive the paranoia. We're being hunted by a vile and wicked hag. We feared you, her minion. She's already hexed one of us, and any of us could be next. Because we dared to do the impossible. We dared to fight back. You see, all of us here have fallen victim to a hag's vicious ways. But instead of succumbing to despair, we rose above it, thanks to Marina, our leader. Together, we've been helping others who've suffered at the claws of a hag. Only, Marina's been hexed by the very hag who now hunts us. You're the one that saved her. The one that ventured to the depths of Ethel's lair. I can hardly believe it. You look so... normal. 
By Helm, perhaps there is hope. If anyone can help Marina, it's you. She's upstairs. But be warned. She's not as you remember her. Wits and blades always sharp. You removed my hex. Ah, uh, that's annoying. I wanted to play a little longer. Auntie likes her toys broken. She's not going to be happy I had to get my hands dirty. They want to hurt Auntie. They have the book. I will die before I let anyone touch a hair on her head. The others I will leave to rot in this house. But you... I will gift Auntie your corpse wrapped in your own intestines.
striking distance. That lying, thieving, scaly little shit! Thanks for knifing the bastard. That makes twice you've saved me. I'm starting to think you're my guardian angel. You too. I've come a long way since we last met. Decided I was sick and tired of feeling stupid, helpless. So I decided I wasn't gonna be a victim anymore. This group is made of survivors. People like me who've been hurt by hags. I brought them together to fight back. We tracked a hag to the city, but lost her trail. Right after she snatched a little girl. None. Her mother has no idea of what she's up against. Poor woman thinks the fist will be able to help her. The moment I started investigating the missing girl, I felt the hag's eye on me. Next thing, I was sprouting wool and bleating up a storm. That's her! And she vanished in the maid. That sounds like a lead. We'll do what we can to find the girl, but our chances are a lot higher with you on our side. Check the safe in the back. I've done my homework on Hag since we last tangled with Ethel. Take whatever you need. I know it by heart anyway. Just a little longer. All right. The hag first, and then we'll find a way to fix you. I promise. So just hang on. New heroes, race, safest place in the city, too. Heroic clientele may be visiting the blushing. That might be worth a look. Not for communal use. It's <sighs> Welcome to the blushing mermaid. We've got rules and no pissing or shitting. If you break it, you pay for it. Any fighting and Captain Grizzly has sank you. Got it? Guards above. Not again. You pull a knife on me like the last one and you're getting a boot, you hear? That woman, Lara, Laura, whatever her bloody name is, she was screaming her head off about some kid. Tore the place apart. <sighs> bloody disturbing. Captain Grizzly had to clock her in the end. Threw her out on her arse. Good riddance.
I brought my own paring knife. Now I just need some ingredients, and I'm gonna make something really good, I promise. What's on your mind? Need something? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with uh, glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant, too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. It's something of a gamble, true, but if I can win, if I can beat him, it would be worth any risk. So yes, I do worry about facing him. But if we can get his attention, finding the ritual's location will be much easier, and that could give me the edge I need. Hey, you. Yeah, I had the same thought. <laughs> so much has happened between then and now. Maybe we just got a little caught up in it all. But I'm not going anywhere. I've got plans for the future, you know, and they involve you. You wish to consult me? I am not on edge. I am alert, as you should be too. Orin could be anywhere, could be anyone. We need to watch over each other, now more than ever. He is the only authority figure in Baldur's Gate worth a damn. Even as the Elder Brain, tears at the foundations of the city. He stands strong and looks for solutions. Better for us to be a solution rather than a problem for his steel watch to scrape off the street. It would be wise to return to him and pledge an oath of allegiance before he declares us enemies of the peace. Yes. I only know it through history books and hearsay. A city of murder and grief. It is already living up to the legend. He is rather fond of himself. If he truly intends to be the savior of Baldur's Gate, perhaps he has reason to be. Even if I personally faced down the army of the Absolute and drove it from the city single-handedly, I would not be welcomed as a savior. No matter what I do, the people of Baldur's Gate will always see me as an enemy. From the cult and the Illithids? Of course. And then I suspect I want exactly what Gortash wants to be feared. Isn't that what you want? When we have all three Netherstones and control the Elder Brain, all of Faerun will have reason to fear us. Let's talk. I wasn't expecting it. But I'm glad to have some company on this journey. You sleep, but the wicked don't. Someone is here to disturb your rest. Get the hells away from me!
peace, brother. We're here to take you home. The Master needs all seven of us for the ceremony. Come with us and be reborn. We'll live again. The right. The Master needs him. He must attend. What a lovely invitation. But I'm afraid I'll have to decline. I intend to kill him, you see. We will live again, Astarian. The scars on our backs are sealed with the cruelest power. Seven spawn, seven sigils. You're number seven, the final piece of the right. He needs us all for the Black Mass. Our fates were sealed in his writing long ago. A promise to his favorite spawn, fulfilled in the crypt beneath his palace. This is our only chance to be free, to end centuries of slavery. You will not ruin it, Astarian.
this needs to end. One way or another. They mentioned my scars and are right. I need to get to that crypt and find out what these damn markings are really for. Let's get going. Need something? Good to be home. First round on who? She who thirsts buys the drinks first. This place. <laughs> you won't pin me down with a rhyme, wizard. She who declines gets the worst of the wines. What's that? Excellent choice. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Still alive. So that's progress. This place, why does it remind me of Auntie Edward's home? What's trap. a trap? There's a trap. Place is more dangerous than I thought. It looks like a trap there.
Easy. Good. to do.
Unless the maid is on fire, shove off. Actually, just leave me to burn. Oh, bloody hangover. The bitch queen road. The blushing maid. You know, Captain. be bloody hung over in peace. Oh. Why, hello there. Captain Grizzly, at your service. What can I do for a long drink of water like yourself? You what? Oh. Well, aren't you the shittiest little spoil sport? Guess there's no point in wearing this old thing anymore. Hello, Petal. Miss me? Marina ran off with the child I was promised. Because of you. So I had to find myself a new one. And little Vanra was so very tasty. Oh, Petal. She'll thank me for it. Venra sits in my belly, growing fat with power. In time, I'll vomit her up and have myself a fresh young hag to train. Unfortunately, that leaves me in a pickle. For a while, I'd love to rip your guts out. I shouldn't. Exertion is bad for the baby, you know. So, walk away. Walk away and let me a fine hag make. Or what? You'll kill me, touch me, and the girl dies. And I'll simply return, stronger than ever. A woman in my condition should be relaxing in the bath, not dealing with this nonsense. I'll leave you to my crew, matey. And should you somehow survive, stay away, or Van will suffer. <laughs>
around. Ooh, fun. Fall by my hand. I smell blood.
Pharaoh finally showed up. I told you, Petal, you can't hurt me without killing little Zanga. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die! Did you... Stay down, Vagra! No! No! Stay down! your guts, you little shit stain. chances.
on my way. in here.
hurt me without killing me, Xander. I have your feet, so do the heroic thing. Die. feel good.
In position.
You brought her back. You brought back my sweet, sweet girl. I doubt I'll ever sleep again. For fear she'll be smite from under my nose. Here. A token from the pirate life I left behind. Thank you for being braver than half this city put together. We could go for a walk. Would you like that? Mommy! Mommy! It's all right. It's all right, Vanra. We'll stay right here. Just listen! I can explain! You have done quite enough explaining, Volofankada. You have poisoned the very hearts and minds of these good, kind, gentle citizens with your lies, your delusions, your conspiracies. Though you hide behind a mask of stories, we have seen beyond the veil. We see what you really are. Fear monger. Hear, hear! Attention seeker. Hear, hear! Agent of chaos. Your parasite stirs in recognition. This man is infected. Rack the hells follow! Today, citizens, we rid ourselves of this cankerous sore. Today, we burn away all falsehoods. Today, we will be divided no longer, for today, we rise in truth. Psst. Don't you stand there? Help me, goddammit! Help me! We're not gonna let this happen, are we? Volo's... Well, he's Volo. What's this? Another heretic in our midst? Another mind clouded by the disruptor's lies? Another soul to cleanse? Well, we are nothing if not gracious. Let us see if we cannot lift the veil from their eyes, too.
push my luck again. Over there. Let's go. Best be on my way. thought I was done for. I suppose thanks are in order. Again, what's an heroic story without a little risking of one's neck, eh? And you know what they say, the bigger the story, the more people want to kill you for it. <laughs> I'll tell you all about it. But not here. Too many eyes, ears, and weapons about. Meet me at your camp. the depths hear me please carry holly to her final rest in the deep wilds please sorry are you here for a wave servant holly's funeral oh it's already started out the just inside no no all are welcome to come and celebrate the life of the fallen wave servant may the wave mother smile on you as she did holly
There's enough offerings in here for a trip to the vault. Off you go. I was just about two times. Wave mother, death is so Holy death. Rejoice, sisters. For Umberly has blessed her humble daughter with a pure death. Her lips blue with her kiss. Her lungs full of her quenching word. Umberly's mercy saved her from a slow, sinking death in the beast's shadow. How dare this beast sully the safety of Grey Harbor? We will find its master and send him struggling into the bitch queen's embrace. Not a sweet sleep like Holly's, but a suffocating flood of fruitless guards and bursting flesh. You, supplicant, what tribute do you bring to honor the Wave Mother's fallen daughter? Yes. Then you know as well as Umberly that blood must soon be shed. Your tribute is well received. Breathe deep as she permits. Yes. Thank the Wave Mother. Blessed Umberly saw fit to spare her an ignoble death. But her passing was not as the Wave Mother intended. It was a beast who took her life. An unnatural one whose very existence is an affront to Umberly. A wretched metal monstrosity hewn by hubris. A rusting pollutant that bleeds black blood into Umberly's pristine waters. The Queen of the Depths is generous to those who serve her, and her favor is far less deadly than her wrath. Find the master of this poisonous beast and slay him. Then one of her most precious gifts shall be yours. <laughs> that privilege is not yours to earn. Salt kiss your brow. We await your return and the beast master's demise.
Ah, I shall be here in thy camp. For whenever as the Making me sweat. Splendid to see you again, my friend. If you hadn't saved me from that mob, I'd be penning a guide to the afterlife based on first-hand experience. Perhaps you would hazard a guess as to why the mob turned on me? Pish posh! That strutting tyrant has a long reach and a steel fist, but he's a puppy dog compared to the real horror that haunts our streets. The Lord of Murder has returned. As he did a hundred years ago, Baal has set his accursed sights on Baldur's Gate, and his temple runs red with the blood of the innocent. Oren is his chosen, and like Saravok before her, she is able to take on the savage form of the Slayer. If the Slayer is not stopped, it will slaughter every living thing in this city. As one of those things, I'm particularly eager to stop it. And there is a way. I have a study of the beast, penned by the wizard Irenicus himself. It contains all the knowledge needed to slay the Slayer. Now I just need a brave adventurer. Willing to face Baal's Chosen, and to put the knowledge into practice. Wonderful! I can scarcely think of anyone more suitable. It will serve you well. A study of the Slayer penned by John Irenicus. It's one of a kind, so do try to keep it away from the inevitable bloodbath, hmm? The Dream Eater. It is said the children of Baal are claimed throughout their sleep, ever disturbed by visions of a life of bloodshed and terror. Once they have seen too much, once these dreams drive their minds to break, they are beset by the Slayer. It is a beast of unspeakable violence that consumes all in its path, including the soul of the one who is host to it. A genius. 
Exiled from his home in the elven paradise of Soldanesala, when he attempted to seize the power of life itself, he instead turned his magnificent mind to murder on a grand scale. That is how he came to crave the power of the Baal spawn. He saw them not as living things, but as tools for his own machinations. In the end, though Erenicus took the form of the Slayer for himself, it was a Baal spawn who thwarted him, the same that saved Baldur's Gate. I am a living witness to Baal's defeat those hundred years ago. So I know your battle against him is not futile. He can be stopped, but not all of those who stood against him survived. And those who did were never the same again. I wish you luck, my friend. And I hope that when I see you again, you'll be in one piece. Two or three at most. Still alive, so that's progress. Pardon my singing. That lullaby has been stuck in my head since... Oh, funny. I can't recall. Greetings. Do you seek help? You are in the right place. Wonderful little beast. Nimble as anything. A man of means, judging by his attire. He looks like a merchant or a junior council member. But right now he's without care, entranced by a tree. There was a squirrel in the tree. Marvelous creature. Inquisitive and nut crazed. Oh, just tired, I suppose. It's been quite a long day. Or at least I think it has. You wouldn't happen to know where I live, would you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I'm as fit as a fiddle. 
It's just that certain things are eluding me. This is more than a lapse, you sense. Something's been done to the man's memories. The man's mind is a stream of fragmented thoughts, each brushed away by another before it can take purchase. Marvelous day. Not a care in the world. Moira would have loved this garden. Wait, who's she? Moira. Yes. No. I don't know. I think I remember a face, smiling, uh, young, then older, then ill, then... No, I don't think so. You must be mistaken, friend. I don't know anyone by that name. There must be, you would think. You know, I can swear there is someone, but their name escapes me. Hells, even their face escapes me. <laughs> A figment of my imagination, perhaps. <laughs> oh, it will come back to me. Or not. I'm content enough here, in either case. Well, I remember I was sad. But in truth, I'm not quite sure what caused it. I'm not even sure I know what sad is anymore. And I came from that building over there. They were very nice to me, seemed very helpful. Although, for the life of me, <laughs> I can't recall what I was doing there in the first place. Welcome to the House of Grief. Or perhaps welcome is the wrong word, Shadowheart. There's been some debate whether you'd even show up and face the consequences of your actions. I assumed you tried to flee, like a craven. Spare me your venom. I'm sure the Mother Superior will have plenty of her own. All in due time. This is a place of healing. Anyone who partook in our methods did so willingly, and left with a smile on their face, freed from their troubles. Would you accuse a surgeon of robbing a tumor? I think not. As I said, in due time. First you submit to the mapping of the heart. Only then can we know what is to be done with you. This is the house of grief. We strive to help those whose hearts have grown heavy, be it with anger, melancholy, grief, or treachery. Submit to the mapping and reveal what lurks in your heart. If you consent, follow me. If you do not, leave. Slacking, or I'll report you to her. You seek to be unburdened, yes? The mapping of the heart can reveal the way. Yet, there is another here whose need is great. That voice. Allow me. I think I'm supposed to do this. Do you know why you are here? There is something I lost. No. Had taken from me. 
My family. My life. I want it all back. Loss is a gift, girl. Do you still not understand that? Now give me the true answer. What is your purpose in being here? The artifact. I was sent to retrieve it. At any cost. And who tasked you with this mission? The Mother Superior. Of Sha... It's you. Give me the honor of my name. In full. I... I can't. My memories... I know what's in that head of yours better than you do, girl. My name. Mother Superior... Iconia Devere. You still have the wits to recognize your betters. Good. Now descend. You have much to answer for. An astral projection. Very clever. I'll stay on my toes around this one. Invoke I wonder what the next move is. childhood spent in these halls. The Mother Superior must be close. Soon this will all be over. Keep going. The Mother Superior is expecting you. how you disgraced yourself before Lady Shah, how she marked you as the enemy. But it is quite another thing for them to see it for themselves. I am very glad you decided to return. A cautionary tale such as yours will be studied by Lady Shah's initiates for years to come. But perhaps I can make a case for some small measure of mercy. Give me the artifact, and I can at least make this quick. Enough. I don't answer to you. Not anymore. I'm here for my family. That's right. I know what you did. And it's not going to be quick. This is your family. And now you have turned your back on it. The artifact was your last chance to prove yourself. And you squandered it. Whispers reached my ears from all corners. Potential rivals of Lady Shah, all vying for the same prize. A new god, amassing the disaffected, the outcasts. Those who should turn to us. This absolute is but an upstart, disturbing the natural order and threatening to impede the glorious return of Lady Shah's pure, endless darkness. I had to act. I had to strangle that foul conspiracy while it was still in the cradle. We learned all we could. The artifact was the one thing the Absolutists feared. 
the one thing they desperately wanted to keep out of their enemy's grasp. I had to have it. Lady Shah's concerns lie elsewhere, with another. But she is a goddess. She can afford to ignore that which does not threaten her. I must keep her faith alive in mortal hearts. I must defend her ways, lead her children, stop all threats. Even if I must go against her wishes, I will prove myself her most loyal servant. Shah doesn't care. She was always going to use you and discard you. But now I'm going to deal with you first. You there! Surrender this one to me now, and you can consider Lady Shah's forces your allies in the battles to come. As you like. Lilala! For Shah! This is my happy place. What's it gonna take? Embrace a fang and Maladic Chaos. Chances.
Shah's will shall be done. No, sure. No. Day, another fight.
much more. It's hot in here. Blood comes easy these days.
Forever, pal. Down the hatch. Never a dull moment. to speak you may have evaded the mapping of the heart but never mind I can delve into your true intentions right now you feel the barest of presences caress your mind she's reading your thoughts 
Ah, as I thought. Quite an adventure has brought you to this point. Illithids, kidnapping, infection, the hells, hunted by cultists and Githyanki alike. And, of course, the artifact. Its name does not concern me. Its power does. I have been awaiting word of this item for some time, ever since I dispatched a cadre of Lady Shah's children to retrieve it. I have been very patient, but no more. I felt Shadowheart's presence in your mind, and with it, the artifact. She succeeded in retrieving it, but then it is you who appeared, not her. Where is the artifact? A bold claim, given your current circumstances. I have not assembled my forces here just to spectate. Humor me with a little negotiation. Perhaps we can find terms that will allow blades to remain sheathed. How about the artifact for your life? And perhaps even my support in the battles yet to come against the Absolute. My interest is defeating the Absolute. It seems you're on that path already. I will not have it said that I am unreasonable. Shadowheart, surrender her to me. Oh, but I sh- Lila, look! What's next, I wonder? Can't be another vile trick. No, there is no trick. It's her, Jennifer, Jan, our little girl. Moon Maiden's grace. It is you. I'm here to get you out of here. They're all gone. It's over. It matters not if you raise this place. 
If you slay every one of your brothers and sisters, that was never where my power resided. Every time you tried to step away from me, every time you tried to reach for Saluna, my hold on you bites deeper. If you had learned, if you had obeyed, there would be no pain. But you struggle on. You will make things worse for yourself and for them. I am neither. I am nothing. I am the empty room. The dreamless sleep. The shadow's shadow. There was no pain before my sister set the sun aflame. Now you exist to suffer. Until you find your way back to my embrace. Enough! I'm taking my parents away from here. I'm taking them away from you! You cannot. We are still bound to you. You cannot both free us and free yourself from her curse. The Moon Maiden needs you more than she needs us. You are the future. You must return to the fold. We are the past. And our duty is almost done. Eloquently put. His mind stood up well to his time here. The same cannot be said for your mother. Such brief, fragile lives humans lead. This is my final lesson. I leave you now to dwell on your mistakes and make your choice. Shah's parting words make your flesh crawl. There is no lesson to be learned here, only a family's torment, a spiteful goddess's whims, and an unspeakable choice to be made. She's gone. I, d I don't understand. Shah will never admit defeat. Not until she has stolen one last thing from you. We cannot allow your future to be her last prize. Not after all your mother and I have endured to see you again. Your companion understands, I think. Help her, please. Help her see what must be done. No, I, I can't. I came here for them. And you did. You found us. All these years, that dream kept us going, that you would break free. No matter what they made you do to us, we knew you were still in there. I knew the Dark Woods wouldn't frighten you. You were always such a brave girl. She was, and still is. You've saved us. Now save yourself. You'll be out of Shah's reach, and we'll be at peace. I only just found you again after all this time. I can't lose you again. We'll still be with you. By the Moon Maiden's grace, we'll never be far. Please, Jennifer. Is this truly what you want? It is what we need. All of us. You were meant to be a guiding light for Saluna's faithful, but they robbed you from us. Now that can be righted. And we can rest. Help us, Jen. I can let go. Now I've seen your face again. Goodbye. Not goodbye. Not even close. bring Saluna's light to dark places and offer guidance to those in need. My parents are watching over me. Let's leave this place. There's nothing more for me here. 
Shadow Heart, still. I can't run away from who I was all this time. Besides, there's something fitting to it. I can't cast a shadow without some light. My parents. I saw them. Spoke to them. And let them go. It's... It's more than I can take in just now. Give me a night to try and get my head together. disc looms before you, a mirror, but one that offers no reflection. All you see is a void of endless darkness. This feels familiar to me somehow. I'm sure I've stood before this mirror before, many times perhaps. Nothing comes to you. The mirror remains a mystery. Your prayers fade away. Shadowheart? I wasn't sure if I'd ever lay eyes on you again. It's me, Nocturne. Do you remember? Remind me? We... we trained together. We used to be close. I'm glad to see you're all right. I don't remember you. Oh. A pity. Perhaps we can talk some more later? That is... 
if you're not about to turn on me. It seems you no longer walk in the Dark Lady's shadow. Not if Shadowheart doesn't wish for it. She may not remember, but we shared a lot together once. Good times. Hard times. I will not turn on her, even if it angers Lady Shah. That's... good enough for me. I'm not sure what I expected coming back to this place. Certainly not a friend. There must be all sorts you can tell me. Things I can't even remember. There are. But with the Mother Superior gone, I don't know if I can stay here to reminisce. Perhaps there's another enclave out there for me. You don't need Shah. You don't, perhaps. Not everyone is as brave. I'll leave come tomorrow. Come see me before then. I was working as quartermaster. I can sell you some things to aid you. And we can catch up. Githyanki. Part of the Sharon's preparations to seize the asteroid. Why do I remember down. these, of all things? A gift from Soldanessala, Mother Superior said. Curious. I could never quite tell if she was proud of them or not. Disguise can serve a warrior of the Dark Lady better than any armor. That's what they always told us. I think this was my favorite part. Putting these on. Pretending to be someone else. I suppose that's been my whole life. What are these mannequins here for? for you. people here. Learned how to break their bodies. Their spirits. Quiet in here now. But it wasn't always so. Screams ran off these walls. I swear I cannot hear them. Survival is all that matters. Still breathing. Despite everything. My turn.
Smell blood. Watch this. Cut with fire, baby. Cry about it. Well, so much for peace. Gold inside. That proceeds. Which way to the nearest library? I think I should be quite happy living in a tree. Greenery and but Thank you. 